Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be sharing with you the sheet mask that I used during the month of November. So um, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so um, if you hear some um, noise in the background, I have my little sidekick with me today, my little grandson. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> He's already unplugged my camera twice since I've been trying to do this so I don't know if it's going to work or not but anyway so um let me pull out all of these the same brand that I did here yeah have all of these from it's called lover recipe and there was different um, um different ones that I found these at Nordstrom Rack they were 97 cents so I have the lemon the carrot the strawberry, the broccoli, the peach, the, what is that called? Grape stone, grape stone. I thought that's what that said. The aloe and the paprika. Now, these were a very nice mask um, very inexpensive like I said they were only 97 cents and um, they had very a very very faint fragrance to them so if you're someone that is doesn't like to do a sheet mask because of the fragrance you would like these they were not very strong at all um, you could barely smell them I think this one here the grape stone was the one that had the most scent to it um, definitely had like a wine scent to it or a grape, but they were all very nice. Um, they were a thin sheet. Um, most of them had like a, a milky essence to them. There was a couple that had like a really thin essence, but most of them was a, a milky essence. I was kind of trying to see which ones, but I think I used all of the essence out of it. Like this one here was a milky one, which was the carrot, but I did enjoy all of those. And if I was to see them again at a Nordstrom rack, I would probably pick up a whole set of them again because I did enjoy using them. Then I have three different ones from Tony Moly that I used. And the first two are from the I'm Real um, collection. So I have a rice one and a peach. One is for clear skin and one is for vitali vitalizing. And I do like the Tony Moly um, peach or the uh, sheet mask. Any of the Tony Moly ones are good. You can find these at Ulta, so they're really easily able to find, so you don't have a hard time finding them. They have these on sale a lot of times at Ulta. Plus, you can use your um, your coupons at Ulta for these, so they're real easy to find. I do recommend the Tony Moly ones. This was one that was fresh to go. It's the aloe mask, and I like having an aloe. Um, sheet mask in my collection at all times so if I've done a little bit um, I was trying to see what he was messing with so if I've done a little bit uh, maybe um, a little bit too harsh with my exfoliation or with my acid peel then this is really soothing and hydrating and it really helps to heal the skin so it's good to have an aloe one in your collection at all times Another one that's good to have in your collection at all times is a tea tree one. And the one I ha had that I used was from Naster. This one's really good if you've had, oh, there he goes. If you could see behind the scenes. <laughs> oh, we, there was not an earthquake. <laughs> it was a baby quake. Bennett, come back this way. Come over here. Come over here and see Gigi this way. Now what do you got in your mouth now? Okay, let's don't put that in your mouth. At least he shows me what. And if I ask him what he has in his mouth, he will show me. Oh, he's giving it to me. Thank you. Thank you for giving that to me. Anyway, a tea tree, like if you get one of those really, um, those cystic um, bumps on your face that never come to head, they just hurt and they're red and they're painful and they take forever, this will help. This will help tremendously. So I do recommend tea tree in your collection also. 
And then from Claire's, I had the Rich Moist Soothing Sheet Mask, a very hydrating sheet mask. I like getting these and having these in my collection also. Now he's in my jewelry box. He stuck a little jar in there a while ago. I thought that's what he was getting, but now he's getting my bracelets. That's okay. And then this one is from the brand Found, and it's a coconut sheet mask. And I don't know where I got this from. It was a sample. This might have been in one of those, I don't remember. But anyway, it was nice. Um, anything that's coconut is definitely hydrating. You'll kind of see a, a theme with this time of the season, you know, you definitely need some hydration. So I was really trying to look for a lot of hydrating. He's trying to put that bracelet on his head. <laughs> I guess for a crown. <laughs> And then this is the Water Gel, Gel Extra Force Mask Optimal Repairing. This has the Oak Tree Sap Essence in it and it's from um, the brand Polotitam. And this was in my um, one of my Pink Soul boxes. I tell you, all of the sheet masks that have been in those Pink Soul boxes, I have enjoyed tremendously. So I did enjoy that. Anything that has um, tree sap essence in it is really good, really good. Very um, repairing to the skin. It helps with elasticity. It helps with um, regeneration to the skin. And then this one is the SQ SKQL SKQIN. I don't know how you would pronounce that. Dual um, sissy mask. This is for wrinkle and moisturization. These I had ordered a while back, but I don't remember where I ordered them from. I can't remember if it was just off of eBay. I think it was an, an eBay order, but anyway, I knew they were had been in my collection for a while, so I wanted to use those up. I probably wouldn't get them again. I mean, it was hydrating enough and everything, but there's just other brands of sheet masks that I like better, so. Then the Crema Lab, and this was the Golden Peptide Lifting Mask. Used one of those up. I'm not a, a huge fan of the Crema Lab um, brand in general, so I have some and I'm going to use those. And then once all of those are gone, I won't be repurchasing. Then the um, Jeju Natural, this is the Canola Honey Mask. It was very hydrating. The recipe by Slow Ganic. This was the Slow Ganic Sheet Mask in Tomato. A slow, raw, organic, slow Ganic. And that was that one there. And I think, I'm pretty sure this was in um, a pink soul a pink soul box. The Seven Days Mask Lemon. I like having these in my collection also because these are really good for exfoliation and for brightening. A bitten, and this is the Snell Bee High Content High Content Mask. Um, definitely like having anything with um, Snell Bee Venom <laughs> in there. That's really good. A uh, Leaders Leaders is another good brand of sheet mask, and this is the Brightening Recovery Mask. So I like having those in there. And this is one of those stragglers of the Martini. These are really expensive. Um, I think I have just a couple more of these and I wouldn't repurchase these because you can find sheet masks that work just as good, that um, are just as effective, that aren't as expensive as, as these, but I had this. And this is the Achy Berry Collagen Mask. And it was one of those little, Two part mask that I had. And then the last one I had was an eye one, and this is from Wish Trend, Wish Trend, and it's the Panda Eye Essence Mask. And I purchased a whole bunch of these without trying them first, and I don't like these. But I have them, I'm going to use them, but I wouldn't repurchase them again. So, so that is the mask that I use for the month of November, the sheet mask. Anyway, so that is it. I hope that you enjoyed. Um, excuse the stuffiness. Um, he went and stayed a week with his other grandma, and 
she works outside of the home in the medical field. And um, so he had to go to daycare. And when he came back, he had a really bad cold. Plus he had pink eye. And now I am getting a cold. And I am just praying and praying that I don't get pink eye. Because you know what happens when you get pink eye when you wear makeup? Yeah, all of your makeup is contaminated. And so you would have to get rid of everything. Could you imagine? Could you imagine the cost of everything that I have used for the last couple of weeks that I would have to eliminate and get rid of because it would be contaminated if I was to get pink eye? Yeah, so I'm hoping it's just going to be a cold. <laughs> That's pretty sad. That's pretty sad that you're sitting here saying, I hope I just get a cold. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so... <sighs> that is it. I hope, I, I hope that's it. So, whew, got through this one. Um, I, I, anyway, <laughs> that is it. That's it. That's all I'm going to say. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.